Hey guys, John McClear here, and uh, I'm pleased to announce that we've hit our 150k uh, target, and this is great, uh, and so we decided that we'll give you an update. And this update is, is basically really about thanking you for all the hard work that you've done so far as a community. We're trying to give a lot back, um, but you guys are giving so much, and we're really grateful for all the help and the support and all the work that you've been doing, which is amazing. Um, we because we've reached 150k that meant that we could employ Tanya full time uh, we're really lucky to have her on a team she's incredibly talented and smart girl um, and she's going to be working on making sure um, that the product gets delivered or the ring gets delivered um, so over to Tanya Hi this is your 150k update I'm Tanya I've just become full time for the NFC ring I'm going to be managing the project while John works on research and development and uh, a little bit of mingling with the community uh, so we just want to say a huge huge thank you to yourselves uh, for all the help and support that you've given us so far uh, with sharing things on social network sites and getting a bit of a buzz for the NFC ring uh, so keep sharing and uh, we'll hopefully hit this stretch goal very very soon uh, we also now have our very own forum uh, so it's just forum.nfcring.com um, and the registration for that is uh, simple, straightforward, it's open. So get yourself on there, get yourself registered and uh, get your ideas on there. On Kickstarter at the beginning of the week, we asked you to send us your top three ideas for what you want your ring to do. Uh, we've already had a lot of responses and it's proven to be a popular competition to run. Um, so we we welcome your ideas um, and the best one, uh, the one that wins, uh, will be integrated with our app. So the winner will be announced on the 16th of August. So you've got over a week to send us your ideas. Um, quite a lot of questions on Kickstarter at the moment uh, are about the prices um, of the ring outside Kickstarter once it's finished. At the moment we don't have exact prices uh, and what we recommend is you get on Kickstarter uh, and get it well, it's at a really good price. Um, and also about ring sizes, uh, so we recommend you go to a jeweler's and uh, get your ring measured if you want a wide band measurement. Thanks Tanya. Okay, so we you know we've been really busy on the technical side as well. We've had some latest prototypes through, and um, you might have seen some pictures. We sent some pictures out on on social networks. Um, this is a a one with a curved edge, uh, and you can see this is quite quite a bit more chunky than the the actual design that I think we're going to go for, which is what you've seen in the the pictures, which is one with a a, a flat top. So you can see here, um, it's very much uh, much thinner. Uh, and it works really well and we're really happy with that and we, we're very close to being able to just get this into mass production. Uh, we have ordered the parts for 12,000 rings. Uh, we ordered them a few weeks ago so uh, we're in an incredibly lucky position where we get to do that and it just means that the Kickstarter stuff should ship on time. Um, the only potential delay is, is shipping but you know you're, everybody's aware of how difficult uh, distribution is and the, the more units you get the more difficult. Um, we are working hard to solve that problem though so I'm pretty sure we'll be on time. Um, we've been working hard on a testing tool. Now this testing tool, what it does is, it, we've had a lot of people say, does will my phone work with the ring? So will my Samsung Galaxy S4 work with the ring? And and really the only way we could answer that before was to was to hold the ring in different locations on the back of the phone to see how well it worked. And that wasn't very scientific. So we've created a tool that moves the ring across the back of the phone and tells us in how many spots it works. So it's just a great way of having an answer for that. Uh, and it makes our lives a lot easier uh, to give a good solid response and it also means that in the software we should be able to display where the sweet spot is on your phone so you know we're killing two birds with uh, with one stone there and we work with the guys from Umlaut to make that and uh, there is a video which we will link to where you can check out more about the testing tool uh, and obviously that's all open source and stuff. We've moved our software over to PhoneGap Build so we've kept it with a patch card over so we're still saying open source but the advantage that phone gap build gives us is it means that we can build for um, we can build cross-platform which basically means that we can support uh, blackberry windows mobile android and if apple do decide to uh, introduce nfc to their next um, phone or tablet device then we'll be able to support that relatively fast we won't have to write any new software we'll just be waiting on the uh, on, on don coleman who's done a great job uh, of the nfc plugin for phone gap build um, so that's great, that means that we can push new fixes to all phones uh, all at once as well so if there are any bugs or issues you can let us know about them and we'll get them fixed fast. Um, you can install the NFC Ring app from the Play Store already, uh, we're waiting on Windows phone approval and we've not started the BlackBerry process yet. Uh, we will do it at some point. We will initially be supporting Windows Phone 7 
with Windows Phone 8 being supported probably in about October, so it won't be long. Uh, we're waiting on the Adobe guys for that. Um, next thing is the uh, NFC Ring Unlock app. Now, the NFC Ring Unlock app is the app that you use when you are uh, unlocking your phone. Now, this is an Android-only app, and it is ready to go onto the uh, Play Store. We wanted to get that done early on so that people had the, the full experience right away. Within, say, seven days, you will be able to install that. So if you want to try it out early on, just a normal NFC tag, uh, it, both pieces of the software will be available on Android. That's NFC Ring and the NFC Ring Unlock app will both be available probably within the next seven days on the uh, Android store and we will be shipping out uh, a request form for a key as part of the survey. So if you say you run Android and you want the NFC Ring Unlock uh, app, all you'll have to do is uh, is to let us know that you want it and we'll send you a key. It's all free of charge, there's no extra cost for that software. Um, so that's great, that's all good, f uh, good for the for people to get tested and to have a go uh, and let us know if there is any issues before your ring arrives. Uh, next thing is we are going to China and Hong Kong to oversee production. Now it's really important for me uh, and, and also for Tanya and the rest of the team that we spend hands on time with the workers in the factory and we're going to take them over some handsets and really what we're going to be doing there is, is just trying to explain the importance of what we're making. Uh, to them so that they want to use it uh, and hopefully if they want to use it it'll be important um, because that means that the quality of the product should stay the same and that we won't damage the product I just stuck a safety pin into my finger oh yeah um, okay next thing is uh, uh, this copyright issue so s somebody said uh, that we'd infringed on copyright on the comments and, and it's nonsense and we're really grateful for the community to uh, to respond on our behalf on that one thing I will say is that um, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind and the rest of our team's mind that we haven't infringed on any copyright or patents. This idea is entirely our own and we have a, a long evidence trail that says that. Um, but the only thing that we would say is if we, if people do accuse us of these things, let's try and keep the uh, argument structured uh, and positive um, because ultimately we will be working with other companies to make the NFC ring better. We'll need to share ideas and solutions. Um, there's no need for us to be a scumbag company. We don't need to go all aggressive and um, we can just basically give the facts as they stand uh, and then offer to help other companies out um, and in return hopefully they'll be able to help us out too. So next big thing uh, and the big thing that isn't going to be officially announced or anything but it's something that um, I really want to do and I'm still pushing for and that is that at 300,000 uh, as a stretch goal at the moment we say that everybody that got in on the limited edition um, will get a free normal ring which is awesome but I really want to extend it further um, I'm gonna be working with Tanya over the next few days to see how we can do that just from a financial perspective because we don't have to pay much more in shipping but we do have to pay uh, import duties taxes and stuff so what we might do is in say the last seven days of the campaign is we might run something that's say uh, 30 pounds for two rings instead of 40 pounds for two rings so it's we're going to have to figure it out with Kickstarter as well because we're not allowed to sell multiple items. So, uh, watch this space. The, we will be updating daily as of Friday. And that is because when we're in China and Hong Kong, we'll be taking somebody that will be filming the, the trip and uh, and all the work that we're doing in the factory. So, uh, subscribe or unsubscribe, depending on how you're feeling. And usual like, tweet, mash, lick, paste, whatever you do do it um, let people know we're gonna have some really cool videos over the next few days coming out um, and hopefully they'll be kind of interesting because they'll be showing the stuff that we're doing abroad and, and, and a bit of an insight about how we produce a ring and stuff okay guys thanks very much for watching and we will speak to you soon